my name is Faith. I'm a board certified lactation consultant and nurse and I have been for 15 years. And I would like to show you how to get a difficult baby to latch onto the breast and also how to get a pain free latch. Each of these steps is necessary and the secrets are in the details. So the first thing is, um, this is called the kangaroo position or the reset reboot position. Um, what it involves is that the baby's head is right under the mother's chin so that it's just kissable. By um, having the baby's head here, the mom can smell the baby and that hastens the milk um, coming down and being ready when the baby does latch on. Also, the baby's arms and legs are free like a little frog. The baby is not swaddled at this point. At that point, most babies who are hungry will um, start to hunt and peck and look for some milk. And at that point, the mom should start to lower the baby into the right position. When the mom starts with the baby in this kangaroo position, it's amazing how much better of a performance mom gets out of the baby because the baby is going to have the lights turned on in his brain so that he is oriented to his space and ready to feed. And also he's gonna have a more relaxed jaw. For those babies who are very handsy, this position also works to relax their hands before you nurse so that they're a little bit easier to nurse. And in addition, if a baby is crying a lot, this is very calming and settling. And also if the baby is very sleepy, this is a way to kind of coax the baby to eat because it gets them ready to feed. So this is the reset reboot position. And whenever things just start to go wrong with breastfeeding, I recommend that you put the baby back into this position. It's very special. Okay, so baby's starting to hunt and peck and look for food now. So since I'm gonna be breastfeeding on this side, it's important for me to make sure that this hand is free to help this breast get a deep pain-free latch. Therefore, I'm gonna switch hands. My other hand is going to go on the baby's back. I'm never going to press on the back of the baby's head or neck, rather I'm only going to press on the baby's back. That is going to support the shoulder girdle. It's not painful, it's not stressful for the baby, and it makes the baby the most relaxed. I just use a finger and a thumb behind the baby's ears um, so that I can control the head without pressing on it. Um, a couple of things to note about how babies need to latch. Take your chin and touch it to your shoulder and swallow. And you'll notice that's really painful, um, really hard to do and difficult to breathe in that position. Next, I want you to lift your chin and tip your head back a little bit and open your mouth as wide as you can. And then what you're gonna notice is how easy it is to breathe, how easy it is to open your mouth, and how easy it is to even stick out your tongue when your chin is tipped up. Next, I would like you to take your chin and tip your chin down and touch your chest. And notice that you cannot breathe, it's very difficult to swallow, and your tongue tends to bunch up and not be able to stick out. So this is definitely um, another position to avoid. So when it comes to difficult to latch babies or moms who have painful nipples, uh, sore nipples, the key is the baby's airway. The baby wants to have um, breathe more than it wants to eat. So if we can protect the baby's airway, we can get the calmest, most relaxed baby with the most open mouth and get the deepest latch that doesn't hurt. So we're gonna focus on ways to protect the baby's airway and make the baby calm. One of the ways is when you lower the baby down, you wanna make sure that the baby is nipple to nose. And what that's going to accomplish is that when the baby goes to latch on, the baby will be able to get into sniff position and tip the head back and open wide and accept the nipple properly. So nose to nipple is a secret. And then in addition, you want one baby arm on each side of the breast, kind of in a position to do a baby push up. Therefore, if the baby can't breathe, the baby is going to push off and be able to protect their airway. A lot of moms try to trap the arms or uh, swaddle them or cross them over the baby, but you can see the baby can't get close enough to the breast to be able to get a deep latch. That way it's blocking the baby. So very important for baby's arms to be on each side of the breast in a hugging position. And again, if the baby's too handsy and difficult, you can either wait it out, give it 30 seconds, probably the baby's just gonna settle down. When the nipple touches the baby's cheek, the baby will just open the arms and go for it. Uh, if that doesn't work, you can put the baby back up into reset reboot position, the arms will relax, you can slide the baby down and try it again. Now that we've got the baby nipple to nose, the arms are um, on either side of the breast, and notice the baby's rear end and back are both held very securely by this arm. If baby feels like they're falling, they will not suck well and they will bite you. So you really wanna make sure that the baby's butt 
and shoulders are pulled in very close to the baby, uh, the mom. So the baby's um, belly button and um, uh, the baby's nipples are pressed right into mom's body. And you'll notice that the baby um, is not getting any pressure on the head and just a little support behind the ears, but that's it. Next, rather than doing a C position or getting in the way of the baby latching on, um, let's try something different. This is the thumbs up technique. You're gonna point your thumb to the ceiling. You're gonna work from across where the baby's nose is. You're going to pull the nipple away from the baby. See that bump right there? Whenever the baby opens, um, like a yawn, very big mouth, you're gonna push the nipple to the back of the baby's mouth. You're just gonna kind of nudge it in there. And that is a way to get a pain-free latch. If you want a close-up view of this in real time, in real life, um, please see my other video called Pain-Free Latching with a Thumbs-Up Technique. Um, so you pull the nipple away. When the baby opens, you push it in with the goal of getting your nipple to the safe zone in the back of the baby's mouth. Women get uh, sore nipples when the baby pinches the tip of the nipple and walks their way up onto the nipple. Rather, you want to put your nipple to the back of the baby's mouth to the safe zone where it will not get pinched or crushed. And you can get um, much more comfortable and over time heal those sore nipples that way. So once the baby is on there and you've worked your magic with your thumb, take that arm, bring it around, relax your shoulders, take a deep breath, and don't forget to push on the baby's back. This way, you're gonna notice that the baby's chin is pushing in much more than the baby's nose. You get pain-free latching when the chin is, again, pushing in and the nose is just floating out here. So I'm always gonna push between my baby's shoulder blades to push the chin into the breast, and I'm gonna to start to notice that it gets really pain-free because the baby can make best use of his tongue. So for more details, please go to um, my other video, which is uh, pain-free latching using the thumbs up technique. And then for a baby who's very difficult to latch and who's refusing the breast, there are a few tricks and tips in my other video called alternative methods for feeding a newborn. And I will demonstrate to you spoon feeding, which can be done right before trying to latch and can get a baby who's refusing the breast back onto the breast. Thank you.